everyone, and thanks for joining us for this thorough walkthrough of the Serilog system. We're going to get started by launching Serilog from the main desktop. Now, when you first get your system, you want to, you're going to want to get started by setting up some users. So you start by logging in as the admin with the default 000 pin. You can then launch the setup and select Manage Users. Here you can key in your users. So for example, if we wanted to add Rachel with pin, say, 111, you just key that in and hit Add User. To modify a pin, we could select it from the rows here. So for example, Admin, and we can just change the pin and hit Save Changes. You'll then want to add some sterilizers. So if you hit Manage Sterilizers, you'll see that Statum is already loaded in the system. But if, for example, we wanted to add Lisa, we'd simply key it in and hit Add Sterilizer. As well, we could add Midmark or any other sterilizer for that matter. Finally, you'll want to customize the names of your packages. So these are the instruments that you'll be reprocessing. So select Manage Packages and you'll see that the system is preloaded with a bunch of defaults. So, for example, examinations, hygiene, restorative kits. Now, if you scroll down, you can see that there are up to 36 fully customizable package names that can be added. So, for example, if we wanted to add Cavitron tips, we simply just key it in and hit Save Changes. And then when we go to the main dashboard, you can see that Cavitron tips has been added. Okay, so now that we've customized the system by adding sterilizer names, setting up users, and adding customized package names, we're ready to get started using the system. Now, what an operator would typically do on a regular day is they would enter a biological indicator in with their first instrument load. So what they would do is they would select the sterilizer and let the system auto-populate with the cycle number and you'll notice that the lot number has been retained from the previous cycle. They would hit enter and notice that a spore test has been added to this active log. This means that the spore test is either in the sterilizer currently or it's in the incubation period. They would then go and select their sterilizer again with the same cycle number and start by selecting their instrument kits. So if, for example, we wanted to load two exam kits a couple endo kits, and perhaps three Cavitron tips. We select them and hit print and log. Then about an hour later, once the cycle is finished, maybe at this point, it would be a different user that's coming back to the system. So for example, Rachel, she would hit view log and identify cycle 864 in the statum. Now here you have all your packages that have gone through the cycle. She could select any one of them. And here she would sign off on the chemical indicators. So you have your type one, type four, as well as your type five indicators. Now, if these are all pass, you set them as such. And if Rachel has verified that the entire cycle has passed, she could set this switch to yes and key in some notes, for example. and hit enter. Now she's prompted to verify that the parameters of time, temperature, and pressure from the sterilizer have actually been met. So that means she's either checked the mechanical display, the printout, or the USB directly from the sterilizer. If she's done so, she can hit yes, and she's then certified the entire cycle. So now when we select on any particular package from this cycle, you'll see that it's been signed off with Rachel. You can see that the parameters of the sterilizer have been met, and you can see any comments associated with the cycle. We can export these results to Excel if we like. So for example, just name it as chemical indicators, followed by the date, for example, and hit save. You can filter on any results. So if we want to see all the records by Rachel, you just key in the name and filter. Now, 24 hours later, 
It could be Rachel that would come back and she would identify the biological indicator, which is currently in its active state, and go to certify the test results. So here you can see there are two doggles, one for the control vial and one for the test vial. Now, if the test is passed, the control vial would have positive growth and the test vial would have negative growth. So the user would set these as such and simply hit enter. Now the spore test has disappeared from the active spore test log and it's been passed to this historical log where you can see the timestamp of entry, the timestamp of removal, there should be a 24 hour gap for the 24 hour indicators, as well as the operator at entry, the operator at removal, the associated sterilizer name and entry cycle number with together with the lot number and the test results. Now here the user can key in some comments by selecting the row and again they can export to Excel or filter on any particular results. Now if you have any questions feel free to contact us at support at or reach out to us at 437-971-7707.